This video is to demonstrate integration between QuickBooks Online and VTiger. First, we're going to start by creating a test invoice record which will then sync to QuickBooks Online. So we're going to our invoices, add invoice, and we'll quickly fill out invoice details, select the contact, specify the date, the due date, put in a sales rep which is our custom field in QuickBooks, PO number, we'll leave terms blank, we want to ship it on the 31st, we don't know when or what the tracking number is, that just got pre-filled automatically, then we'll select say a product and let's add a service, consultation, let's make quantity of five. So now that we have a invoice record, we need to tag this record to be synced to QuickBooks. To do so, you would click Sync to QuickBooks, and that'll automatically add this record to the queue to be synced to QuickBooks. Now, while the automation runs in the background, we're going to switch to QuickBooks interface and see how the invoice was then created in QuickBooks. So in QuickBooks, we'll go to our sales, invoices, and I'll just sort it by the invoice number. And here's our invoice for Sunshine Inc. I'll just go ahead and open it and we can see that we have the organization name, the email that came from the contact, the address, terms we left blank, we have the invoice date, due date, and basically all the other fields that we put in on the invoice on VTiger. So what I'll do now is I'll just add terms. We'll say let's put in a shipping via FedEx, and the tracking number is something. And lastly, we'll just go ahead and save this, and we'll see how the information then flows back into VTiger. I'll execute automation in the back end and switch to VTiger. I will then open our invoice. There's the test. I'll hit details, and we can see how the information synced back from QuickBooks to VTiger. So we have our terms, we have our ship via, as well as the tracking number. So you can see that all the fields sync both ways. In addition, you can see that we now have QuickBooks invoice number and the QuickBooks status, which is due, partially paid, or paid, and as well as last date synced. Next, what I would like to do is create a customer in QuickBooks, as well as the invoice payment, and sync it back to VTiger. So first, we'll go to our customers, add a new customer, and let's add, say, Bob Smith, Bob's Furniture. We'll put in the email, and then as well as the phone numbers as needed. And all of that information will then sync back to QuickBooks. That's the whole point of doing so. I'm sorry, to a wee tiger. And finally, we'll hit save. And next, I'll create a quick transaction. I'll do new transaction. Let's do invoice. Information is already pre-filled. We'll just put in the, say, shipping date. Tracking number TBD, PO TBD, and let's add a few of the items. Let's do a consultation for a thousand dollars. Let's do a bundle for three thousand, and then in addition, we're going to add say a discount of two hundred, and say the shipping is five hundred for one reason or another. I'll hit save. And lastly, I want to add a payment so we can see how the payments sync back to VTiger. So we have payment, and let's do 2000. Um, let's say it's a check. 
and the number will be this and we're just going to save a new and now what we're going to do is go back to vtiger and see how this invoice then synced back to vtiger go back to invoices and I'll just go to invoice list and execute the automation next I will refresh this window so we can see the new invoice and you can see right away 1031 that's the new invoice that just got created then we can see the organization is Bob's furniture and the contact name is Bob Smith first let's go ahead and go into our invoice and I'll open up the organization in a new tab so we can see the information that got synced so we can see our fax phone number if we scroll down we can see our address if I switch back to the invoice the same happened with the contact so the email mobile phone first name last name synced to vtiger properly and now I'll we'll switch back to our invoice and let's review this so all the information that we put in in QuickBooks successfully synced to vtiger we have the address we have the QuickBooks information as well as the products that we added next let's take a look at the payment so under payments this is the payment that was synced from QuickBooks and was added under the payments section so simply the integration between QuickBooks and vTiger goes two ways it supports customers invoices um, as well as payments now I would like to show you how it's configured and how to initiate the sync manually or automatically so under settings CRM settings there's an area for QuickBooks online and the API information is essentially how you will connect your QuickBooks online company file to vTiger all of this is documented in our user guide next the customer tab is where you will map your organizations and contacts into QuickBooks customers you don't have to use contacts if you don't need to you can only you you can stick to organizations and map all the fields within organizations then the products and services all the items from QuickBooks are synced to vTiger and back that includes products and services next under invoice tab we have the information that's configured for invoices and you can see it does support custom fields in QuickBooks as well as vTiger so you can map custom field 1, 2, or 3 to any field in vTiger lastly we have payments those are not editable because it only syncs from QuickBooks to vTiger those fields have to be set properly under configuration tab we have our sync to vTiger and sync to QuickBooks basically what this allows you to do is turn on the sync only to vTiger or only to QuickBooks so you can specify say if you only want information to go one way that's where you would set on and off for each module or application I would say next the data source that's very important you have to make sure what's your primary data source and that gets used at the time that there's conflict or on the first sync and finally we have synchronized tab that's where the magic happens so first you can turn on and off each module that you sync with QuickBooks and you can specify the cutoff date say if you don't want to sync all of your customers from QuickBooks you can say I only want customers to be imported starting January 1st 2018 and that applies to all the other modules and these buttons are just to trigger sync manually if you're testing or just starting with integration those are very helpful and down below we have a log of what was synced how many failures as well as created and updated so that gives you an idea when you're on a sync what happened within that information and we have our QuickBooks queue logs and few other areas to troubleshoot the synchronization 
So that summarizes the QuickBooks Online and VTagger integration.